Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Gia Lovely reporting. So, last night, Trishlicious, you know, I get more and more concerned as the days pass with the situation at hand. Um, now, here's the thing. I don't doubt that Trisha loves her daughter. I don't. And I don't doubt that Sheridan loves her mom. You know, but right now, the best thing for Sheridan would to be to be out of her care. You know, let Sheridan stay with her grandparents. And Trisha, you know, things that I'm seeing, you know, I'm seeing cut marks on your body. You know, I see the lines that are across your legs. I see the lines that are on your, on your arms. And I know what that's like, Trisha, I do. I know what it's like to be in pain. I know what it's like to wanna hurt yourself, to take away that pain. Been there, trust me, I really, really have. I have empathy, Trisha, for you, I do. And I need you to know, I'm not the one that's out to hurt you. And I haven't been out to hurt you, Trisha. That's not what this is about. It's about your four-year-old little girl who deserves to have structure in her life, who deserves to be around other little kids her age, who deserves to have playdates and to watch movies and to have a normal, life as a child you know i understand that you love her trisha i do but you want to have a lifestyle that isn't i want to say the word conducive but i'm going to say that isn't right for a four-year-old little girl <coughs> excuse me um it's not right for a little girl, you know? Um, do you wanna stream? Do you wanna go out to bars? Do you wanna be able to do your own thing? You wanna be able to drink and smoke your marijuana and and do your thing, and, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with wanting to have that lifestyle. There's not. But when you have a child involved in this situation, it's a whole different matter when you're not feeding your child until 12 15 midnight that's not okay when you are self-harming yourself it's not okay when you are drinking and drugging to a point where you're really out of it trisha you're way way out of it i can even see it you know you are trying to numb the pain and i get that too um and i'm gonna tell you something trisha I want to tell you something. I have been sober, okay? I, I used to do a hard drug when I was younger. I was very much addicted to it. Definitely a party drug. You know, I was 21 years old, but I literally was having addiction issues. I'm luckily, I'm luckily sober from it now. I have been for many, many, many years. Let's see, I am 33 now, and I have been off of it since I was 23. So 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So like, I'd say like 10 years maybe that I've been off of it. Um, I don't touch any other hard drugs. I do vape marijuana, I do smoke marijuana. I have no problem with marijuana whatsoever. I do, however, have a problem when you're smoking from a bong and you're doing it in front of your daughter or next to your daughter. That's something I don't condone. And I will say that straight out. I don't find that okay. I know that you are majorly in your alcohol addiction right now. Um, and that's another thing. And I'm gonna state this straight out. My parents are both recovering alcoholics of 15 years. I know what it's like to be in the AA rooms. I know what it's like to be in the NA rooms. I've grown up around it. I've seen people go in and out. I've seen people get sober for years on end. I've seen them relapse and I've seen them get sober again. Both of my parents have stayed sober um, and that's why I know the sober lifestyle. Um, I have another person that's close to me that no longer drinks, hasn't drank in years. 
another, you know, and I have sober people around me. My aunt is sober. My mom's sponsor is sober, you know, um, and I just live a sober lifestyle. And, and there's nothing wrong with being sober, Trisha. You can do it if you put your mind to it. You just have to want to want the help. You've got to put your pride aside and say, okay, I'm done. I know I need help. I know I can't do this anymore. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. And you have the chance to do that. I think you have two parents who love you very much, Trisha, who I don't think want this for you either. You know, I think that they very much would be willing to watch your daughter while you get into a rehab situation, while you go through AA and NA and do what you need to do to get better and to have Sheridan back with you. You can be a better mom, Trisha, you can, but you have got to want to be a better mom. You've got to want to sober up and, and do the next right thing, but it's up to you at the end of the day to want to want the help. You know, I see a very hurt person in you. I see someone who very much is in pain right now, and I get it. You are not alone. You know, there are people who love you, Trisha. You know, and at one point, I did love you. You know, I loved you as a friend, and I was there for you, and I supported you. You know, I sent gifts to your daughter you know, I spoke to you over the phone when you were having hard nights. You know, when your daughter first got taken away from you, I was there for you, Trisha. I was there to pick up the phone. I still very much am and I will always be here. But at the end of the day, I will always advocate for Sheridan. And I don't condone your behaviors right now. I don't condone your addiction. You know, and all I want at the end of the day for you is to get help. And again, I'm not here to hurt you, Trisha. That's not what this is about. This is about your daughter. This is about you getting the help that you need to be a better parent, a better mother, and a better person at the end of the day. And you know in your heart of hearts that Sheridan deserves better. You do. So I'm going to leave this message with you. I'm here if you need me. I'm here if you need to talk. I'm here if you need help. You are always welcome to reach out. And I'm sorry if you felt that I hurt you. I really am. But that was not my intention at all. My intention is to be an advocate for that four-year-old little girl who doesn't have a voice. You know, and I've seen everything you've been doing, Trisha. Beating the Sean, beating your daughter, the alcohol, the drug use, the, you know, different guys in and out of your daughter's life right now, just bringing, you know, and, and I understand that these are guys that you want to meet, but that's also not okay for your daughter, you know, either. And again, I know that this is all has to do with your addiction, and I get that. So um, I hope to God that you get the help that you need. <laughs> And I hope you can do better for your daughter. I really, really do. Um, and again, as of the stream with last night, I just see a very, very hurt woman and someone who's in pain. I see someone who wants to be loved badly. And it's sad for me to watch you unravel. It really is when I've been sober as long as I have been. And it just, it, it's just really, really hard for me to watch. And, it, and it's heart wrenching. So, um, I don't really know what else to say. Um, I wish you nothing but the best, Trisha, at the end of the day. I really do. And, and I hope to see you get the help that you need. So, anyway, guys, I will be back with more later. Thanks. This is G Lovely out. Bye, guys.